Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna be planting two orange rocket barberries from the Southern Living Plant Collection. These are stunningly beautiful, upright, narrow growing barberries. Uh, they can reach uh, four feet in height, but only about a foot and a half uh, in width. Really beautiful, upright uh, shrub for any full sun space or part shade space. Uh, does definitely more sun the better. The more sun, the more color uh, on the foliage on this plant. It, the new foliage starts out it's kind of a coral color, and then it matures to kind of a dark, uh, like a ruby red or almost purplish uh, uh, foliage. And then on the very interior of it is a green, but it's kind of a little bit of a lime green. It's one of the showiest plants uh, I have ever seen. I'm planting them behind this Miss Lemon abelia that I just put in, and I'm actually carrying this around the corner here. I only have two today to plant into this space, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get these two that I have in. There's some other flowering things here, some sunflowers and, and dahlias coming and zinnias and other things, right? A lot of color here, and I wanted another pop of color uh, using shrubs uh, around this corner right here. There's a path going in right through here, uh, and this color will just lead people, you know, lead people's eyes back to this space where all this other flowering, all these other flowering things are. Really stunningly beautiful plant. Barberries are tough as nails. Not a lot we have to worry about. Put them in the sun, let them dry out between waterings. You can fertilize them in the late uh, winter. If they need to be pruned, you could do that at that time. But this is a plant that's probably almost never going to need to be pruned. Uh, you will get on any kind of upright, narrow plant like this, you probably will get you know, a limb here or a limb there that'll shoot out on the side. You can walk past it and cut it off any time of year. It wouldn't matter at all. Uh, these are just such beautiful, such beautiful plant. Uh, this one's not root bound at all. I've actually already dug this hole. This was my this was my compost pile right here for a long time. So anything I'm planting over here, I'm very confident uh, in. I will leave them mounted up just a bit, but uh, definitely not worried about uh, how the plants are going to perform in a space that was compost. Of course, barberries do have uh, little thorns on the interior, so I'm careful with it as I'm handling it, but I'm handling it with no gloves. Uh, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm careful with it. I've, of course, I've handled enough of them that uh, it doesn't bother me regardless, but you might want to wear uh, you know, gloves when you plant them. Uh, and I'm gonna, I left it up uh, just a little bit above the grade. I didn't, uh, I dug the hole deep enough for the whole root ball. And then I had put some loose soil back in it, just preparing for this, to shoot this video. And uh, I'll come in here and just kind of press this in really, really well around the outside like that. And don't, I don't want to cover any of that root ball it wasn't covered before and I'm gonna mulch pretty soon I'm not gonna worry about it today I'm gonna I'm about to pine straw a significant portion of my yard including this space and it'll get pine strawed uh, at that time I'm gonna go ahead and stick the other one in the ground here and then I'll, I'll give you a close-up of them I don't know that any video footage I shoot of this thing really does it justice in how colorful this plant actually is when I had these at the garden center they would disappear almost immediately uh, it really is amazing. Uh, people are just drawn to them. Uh, I've had, you know, had people just pull in because they could see them sitting on top of the racks and just had to know what it was. Uh, they're that bright and vivid. Like I say, the more sun, the more color. Just like any other barberry, they're going to be tough as nails in pretty much any kind of soil type uh, that you give them. And they're, you know, super, super cold hardy. You're not going to have this plant be damaged in the winter. Again, you can fertilize it with a slow release fertilizer in the late winter. Prune it at that time if you need to, if you want to shear the sides of them a little bit to keep them even narrower. This would be a great, great container plant and could be underplanted with any kind of yellow foliage shrub. You know, this uh, Miss Lemon Abelia would be an example of that or any kind of a uh, yellow uh, uh, annual uh, that, that, that would trail over the container. That would be just a perfect choice for that. I'm going to add a few more of these to this area in time, but what a spectacular plant and really just very few uh, insect or disease problems to, to worry about on barberries. Like I say, pretty indestructible. So be on the lookout for these orange rocket barberries from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Thanks for watching.